Believe it or not, among all my Sunbreak videos, the Rapid Fire Pierce video is the video that has the most views. It's time to make a follow up on that video. Currently, we have three light bow guns that come into mind when Rapid Fire Pierce 2 is mentioned. We have the old school Nargakuga light bow gun with high affinity but lower raw, the Malzeno light bow gun, which is attained around MR100, but actually, all you need is a friend to post that score in Magna Malo Quest with high raw but zero affinity, and the middle between the two being Shigaru Magala's light bow gun. I do believe I'm about to shoot my foot with what I'm about to say. I deem Malzeno as the best Rapid Fire Pierce 2 gun. Now, Calm down. Please give me a chance to explain. So let's compare them side by side, shall we? In terms of raw, Malzeno is the leader with 330 raw. In terms of weapon slots, Malzeno leads by having a level 4 slot. In terms of rampage slots, the winner is Shigaru Magala with a level 2 rampage deco that is capable of probably getting around 5% more damage using anti-species decos. In terms of affinity, Nargakuga is the clear winner. All these three guns can fire rapid fire Pierce 2 with the lowest recoil with critical firepower with no tune up needed, only silencer. In terms of absorber and quick load decos, Nargakuga wins by only needing three absorber and one quick load. Deviations, it's a tie between Nargakuga and Malzeno with none meaning you only need one steadiness if you are eating for temper level 2 and temper level 4. Capacity for Pierce 2 is also a tie for Nargakuga and Malzeno. Malzeno is the only one that can reload while moving among the three. I'm going to try and defend Malzeno with its shortcomings. First, Rampage slots. Even if Shigaru Magala has 310 raw and with the capability of boosting damage by 5%, with the corresponding anti-species deco, I tested it on Narwa the All Mother. The damage is basically the same versus Malzeno, same affinity on both sides, same skills. But Shigaru has anti-species deco here. Shigaru and Malzeno being equal damage does not compensate for Shigaru only having 4 capacity as opposed to Malzeno's 5 capacity. And also, Shigaru has stationary reload, while Malzeno has the comfort of being able to move while reloading. Second is affinity. If Shigaru Magala cannot compete with Malzeno, it certainly makes sense that Nargakuga can't either. The raw difference is too much. I know I did say before that this whole Malzeno versus Nargakuga debate is matchup dependent, but I've tried using the Malzeno light bowgun with monsters that don't really have a lot of yellow hit zones for a shot and it's still strong. And what makes it even better is I can just keep on strafing and not worry about being stuck on the floor when I reload. All you have to do in matchup like these are lining your shots on the yellow zones instead of using rapid fire pierce 2 as a shrapnel gun. Nargakuga needs one less quick load deco than Malzeno. That is nothing. Nargakuga needs to get 100% affinity and stack more raw just to close the 40 raw difference with Malzeno LBG. Nargakuga only has a level 2 slot. A god charm might give Nargakuga the power to beat Malzeno LBG, but that same god charm can even make a scarier Malzeno like Bogan. Those are the reasons why I deem Malzeno LBG to be the better rapid fire Pierce 2 gun among the three. For now, it looks really cool. It's hard and it's comfy. If you're still in this part of the video, you're like me who has already made their choice of choosing Malzeno over everything. So let's just go to the set. The generic 3 to 1 talisman build will have 90% affinity, rapid fire up 3, Pierce up, critical boost, evade extender 2, steadiness 1 to counteract the deviation when you eat for temper level 2 or level 4. This build comes with Mail of Hellfire, Hole, and Chain Crit. If you watch my last video about rapid fire normal 2, you would know that the combination of these skills is as powerful, even more actually, as having attack boost 4 in the set. You have to always be at the red scroll, since we are using Mail of Hellfire here. Why is there no ballistics on this peer set? I really feel that you don't need it, because you have Evade Extender 2 with this set and you will be basically strafing 24-7. Even if the monster kisses you, you can just evade once, walk a bit, and then you have critical distance. It's pretty easy to maintain. One thing I would like to add here is using maximum might. Since this is a gun that will never hinder your movement, may it be firing or reloading, I guess it will be a good mix to utilize max might as a source of affinity. 
if you try and slot in Maximum Might 3 with Weakness Exploit 3 and with 1 Bloodlust, you will easily achieve 100% affinity on the Malzeno gun on a good shot hit zone and 50% affinity on a white shot hit zone. You might be able to put more attack boosting skills in the process as well. Just be mindful of the uptime of Maximum Might. It takes around 5 seconds for it to activate when your stamina bar gets full. Utilize the mobility of the Malzeno gun properly to keep the uptime of Maximum Might. Try out your talismans in the builder to see what set it will show you. Again, if you're not comfy with Max Might because you're too jumpy and you keep on hopping around, you can go for Critical Eye instead. Although it will be slightly expensive getting the affinity increase. I will not be showing any builder segment for this video. You got this. You're already a certified gun sexual. But just for reference, I used Max Might level 3 with my Evade Extender 3, Reload Speed 1 with the level 2 and level 1 slot, achieving 100 affinity with Bloodlust on yellow shot zones and 50% affinity on a white shot zone. Malzenolite Bowgun. It looks cool and it's really comfy. Try it.